I like to quote, we are a $1 billion startup and we are focusing the sustainable uh, data center business, okay, with uh, AI ready. So this is our focus. So sustainable AI ready data centers is the portfolio that we're building across uh, Europe. Um, AQ Compute really positions themselves as the AI data center for the future and for today. Um, and being the buzzword of the day, um, one quote that I read, I think you said that traditional legacy data centers are not AI ready. Um, what is it about legacy infrastructure that makes it so AI unfriendly? Legacy data centers basically are hosting workloads which are currently uh, operating at different densities and different uh, power and cooling needs than, let's say, uh, AI workloads. So AI workloads have requests of 40 kilowatts per rack, 50 kilowatts per rack and growing. And uh, this requires a new set of cooling technologies, power delivery uh, technologies, and uh, retooling an ongoing or operating data center, legacy data center, which operates at seven, eight, 10, 12 kilowatt per rack is just uh, extremely risky for the, uh, let's say, uh, tenants, uh, expensive and uh, most likely without the uh, expected results. This is why we believe that uh, AI workloads uh, do need uh, brand new uh, infrastructures that can cope with the requests of uh, AI workloads. So simple as that. Mm -hmm. It's and too complicated to retool an existing data center. And what makes AQ data centers different? Well, in the first place, uh, our sustainability portion. Mm -hmm. uh, so that sets us apart versus all the players that are aiming to be, uh, let's say, zero emissions by 2030, whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's already a phenomenal, let's say, uh, head start. Uh, at the same time, being uh, a newcomer into the data center, we just at the moment, we are developing a portfolio of more than 10 data centers across uh, EMEA. Uh, with two uh, um, assets right now, one in Oslo, one in Barcelona. The, our Oslo is uh, already delivered, phase one. Um, we had, you know, we, we had this, uh, let's say, um, opportunity to um, uh, think our, about our strategy and focus in uh, what is relevant for the industry. Because being a Me Too, uh, maybe is not adding too much value to customers. However, focusing on being AI ready, that is a differentiator and adding a lot of value for those clients who are embracing an AI strategy, but they don't find the adequate infrastructure where to place their systems. So that's what uh, all is about in AQ Compute. Okay. So sustainability and AI readiness. So speaking about technology differentiators, um, what technology trends are you seeing that are coming to the market to make data centers AI ready? Well. I think uh, from the infrastructure point of view, the key uh, transformation is going to be more in the uh, liquid cooling. I mean, AI workloads uh, will need a liquid cooling all the way. I mean, this is one of the complications that, you know, retooling a, a legacy data center is extremely complex in this, in this sense. And also the increase of the, um, of the workloads of, uh, let's say, the power that you feed into a rack moving from 10 and, uh, you know, multiplying that by 10 times up to 100, you know, you have to redo all your, uh, let's say, uh, you know, power distribution inside the data center, all your switch gear, everything. So it's, it's a complete different world. So, you know, you have to, to build very flexible designs uh, to cope with, let's say, let's say, uh, H100, you know, GPU workloads, which, uh, which demand, let's say, 40, 50 kilowatt per rack. At the same time, probably one year from now, we're going to see the new B200s from NVIDIA, which will demand probably 100 kilowatts per rack. So you have to design liquid cooling, flexible solutions. At the same time, all the power solutions also that support those, uh, that feed those uh, racks. So it's, uh, we have done uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, work on that regard uh, since the last couple of years, designing a, a you know, flexible, you know, power and cooling concept, which uh, is actually working. Um, and you have to be prepared for that. So, and of course, you know, looking for the maximum efficiency. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, in a natural where I see the challenges. And of course, the resiliency part, which is also a top thing. Um, and recently, AQ Compute decided to go into Spain as their next location. Why Spain in Europe and let's say not Germany, where a lot of people are also moving? Well, we, we are actually also moving into Germany. Okay. Uh, so. We have a pan-European portfolio, 
you know there are let's say like two two trends one is is already starting to to move fast forward which is language uh, you know language training models okay we are not so latency dependent and where the key thing is low energy cost and plenty of energy so you know interestingly you know this is nordic countries in our case in oslo our campus 175 megawatts is a great place for these type of applications which is actually the the development of the ai algorithms in spain a similar phenomena takes place because we have plenty of renewal there and uh, same as we have in Norway, and um, and you know we have we have uh, you know this kind of low energy cost, 100% renewable, and uh, plenty of energy to grow. So that offers very good, uh, let's say, um, uh, I would say, expansion capabilities for our clients for that particular application. When you go into inference, which is you know putting those algorithms into work, uh, kind of uh, data centers with similar characteristics, but closer to metro areas. Um, we try to focus more on tier two uh, you know, locations because it's easier to find the best plots uh, rather than moving into flat markets where you struggle to find energy if you can't find it at all. Um, we're very focused in, uh, for instance, uh, you know, places like uh, Munich, uh, Milan, uh, Madrid, Barcelona, Lisbon, um, um, uh, Berlin, uh, uh, you know, the Stuttgart, Frankfurt area. So, you know, consider tier two locations, we are super, let's say, bullish because we think, you know, this will be a very good opportunity for us. Okay. Um, final question. What excites you about the most about our industry in the future? Um, well, uh, I think we are witnesses of, uh, let's say, the, the biggest transformation in, uh, at least in my 30 years of career, this is in this industry. This is the very biggest let's say transformation or that I have seen and um, and uh, we are putting the foundations of a true uh, transformation of our society. So being a contributor to that and doing it in the right way, in a sustainable way and uh, you know making things right I think is also a, a very good incentive. So that really excites me to see how we are putting the foundations of a true transformation of society and doing it in the right way with our, the right legacy and of course also, we have a social side, which don't, we don't have to forget, is what we give back mm -hmm. in this sense, for instance, in our data centers, in all of them. We um, always uh, build a, a dedicated area for innovation and um, where we invite institutes, uh, universities, uh, startups to work with us and in order to uh, foster new talent. Amazing. Henry, thank you so much for your time today and I wish you all the best. Well, see you. Thank you very much.